Welcome to vlog number 29. Today I'm going to talk about an upcoming archaeology workshop for teachers in the Kansas City area. Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm going to talk about something probably a little bit more pertinent to local Kansas City educators, but I also believe there's a lot of these workshops going on around the country. So if this interests you, I think you can probably find something in your own backyard. So I wanted to share a little bit of information today about a project archaeology workshop that will be happening in the Kansas City area this July. So the dates for this workshop are between July 24th and July 28th, so that is a Monday through a Friday. And I participated in this particular workshop back in 2013. It is a, a great workshop. Um, it's very similar, I believe, today to what I experienced in 2013, with just a couple of exceptions. So what the workshop is, is an intensive look at how archeologists work and how you can then incorporate that into your own classroom. The way the workshop is constructed, you have three days of, I wouldn't really say classroom type stuff because you're not just sitting in a classroom listening to somebody, but um, the first three days are curriculum based. So um, you're using a resource called uh, the Project Archaeology book, um, Investigating Shelter. And so you spend three days looking at different strategies, talking about the fundamentals of archaeology, um, and you get to do some different projects that you can then bring into your own classroom. So you do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then on Thursday and Friday, they have optional days where you get to go out and uh, do some field work. So um, the first three days of this particular workshop in the Kansas City area, the first two days you are at the uh, Fort Osage Education Center, great facility located right along the Missouri River, um, short drive uh, away from uh, Kansas City. So that's Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, you're at the Truman Library. Again, amazing facility. Uh, you're able to utilize what they have available there. And then if you want to participate on Thursday, they're going to go to, or Thursday and Friday, they're going to go to the Lone Jack uh, Civil War Battlefield Museum. So they're going to be doing a, a dig at the location. So you're really kind of getting the fundamentals and talking about it as a curriculum tool, and then you're able to get some field experience. So I did this back in 2013, and I had no formal archaeology training at all prior to the workshop. And the thing that I really enjoyed about it was it's it really starts you at the beginning and talks about kind of the scientific approach and, you know, just kind of the, the ethics and all different kinds of things like that. And then you do some activities where you can bring archaeology into your classroom using uh, different projects. One is having kind of like a large grid on the floor of your room. And then you're able to place different markers, um, not really markers, but like uh, pieces of paper uh, that could be laminate, that could be index cards that show where archaeologists found stuff. Because project archaeology is not about necessarily going and digging in and, and all that kind of stuff. A lot of what they talk about is really the importance of doing it correctly. And in many cases, a lot of teachers can't go out and dig up a whole bunch of stuff outside of their school. So what you do is you create a kind of like a floor mat type thing with a grid system. And then what you're really focusing on is what you're finding at different places and then where they're at as far as different um, depths in the, the layer of the archaeological site, things like that. So you're doing those things the first couple of days and then you get to go out and do some real practical, actually digging in the dirt type stuff. Um, we did some stuff at Fort Osage when I did it back in 2013. Um, I know this particular site, in talking to the uh, coordinator at Lone Jack, they found some really interesting things in the past um, at the location that they're going to use for the 2017 uh, workshop. So it should be a lot of fun. Now, if you're watching this and you have participated in a project archaeology class in the past, um, you know that on those two dig days, you're also available to come as alumnus. So uh, if you have participated in the past, um, if you haven't received an invite, um, definitely contact and, and ask if you can come along. Um, but it's kind of neat to have um, people that have experienced the program in the past and then in some cases are actually using this in their classroom. And while you're doing the archaeological work, you can also talk to them about um, how they've used it in their classroom. In terms of times and cost, um, for each of those days, they meet between 8.30, let me get this right, 8.30 and 4 o'clock, so it is pretty much a full day, um, but I really thought it was great 
instructional uh, time. And I never felt like I was just, you know, sitting there listening to somebody lecture. So I really enjoyed the days that I had. So you're there for the whole day. And then as far as cost, it is $45 um, unless you're a student. If you're a full-time active student, um, the cost is $30. And it's really mainly just for supplies. Um, you receive this uh, book, um, the Project Archaeology book, and it has all kinds of great handouts and um, the curriculum, if you want to incorporate it into your classroom, is really well laid out and constructed. And then when you go to the Project Archaeology website, and again, I'm speaking, assuming that it's the same as it was in 2013, when you get the book, you also get a password so that you can download a lot of different course materials that might not be in this particular book, um, but might relate to a specific structure. So the one that I believe they're going to use for this particular worksheet is uh, an 1869 farmhouse up in uh, Montana. Um, but maybe you wanted to do something with um, a particular Native American uh, tribe or some other time period. They have all kinds of different curriculum that you can download and then specifically use in your own classroom for what might match your curriculum. So if this interests you in any way, I would uh, encourage you to check out some more information. I do have the uh, flyer they have, which is also uh, the place for you to sign up and then send in. Um, it also has contact information on it. That's at our website, historygeekteacher.com. And again, from personal experience, this was a great way to learn about incorporating archaeology in a classroom setting. And it's one of the things that spurred me to apply for a Mount Vernon Lifeguard Fellowship in the summer of 2015. And in that particular summer, I spent some time at Mount Vernon doing some work with their archaeologists and creating kind of like a, a lesson um, that would help students learn about Mount Vernon through an archaeological lens. So this in many ways was kind of the spur for that. And I'm currently kind of developing and finishing up um, the lesson that I am working with on Mount Vernon. But it definitely was something that created that interest and then developed into something more after the Project uh, Archaeology class. Again, if you're not in the Kansas City area, definitely check out the projectarchaeology.org website. Um, they have a link on top where you can go down and look for different states. Um, so go ahead and find the coordinator in your state, um, give them an email, contact them, find out if there's something similar in your area. This is definitely a nationwide program. So I'm just speaking to what's happening in Kansas City, but I'm pretty sure there's probably something happening in your neck of the woods as well. So that's gonna do it for the vlog today. Um, go ahead and check out the website, historygeekteacher.com. My contact information is there if you have a question or a comment. Thanks so much for coming along. We're getting a lot more subscribers. We're trying to do a lot more uh, constant uh, vlogging throughout the week. So let me know if you have any thoughts or ideas um, or you'd like to get in touch. So until next time, remember, history is so much more than just a bunch of boring old dead guys. Until next time, bye.